Now let's talk about a couple trades um, that we can go through this week or keep an eye on. Um, one of them is Nvidia. The other one is Trade Desk. So Trade Desk announced a 10 to 1 stock split and that is going to happen on January 9. Now TradeView had a pretty good earnings. They reported 220 million in first quarter, 37% up over the last year. Now with Nvidia, if approved by January 3, they're gonna have a four to one split on the stock and that will happen on June 21st. So let's look at Nvidia stock as you can see right here it was in a downtrend and it recently came out this is bullish right now for nvidia and it's looking like this is part of the news so that could be a good trade coming up soon trade desk right here as you can see we've been going in this downtrend channel right here i'm going to zoom out and look at the weekly so you can have a better perspective but this is right here at the lows in march 2020 it recently had a this big rally and it has come down quite a bit about 50 percent so trade view have definitely a good um i mean this is the bottom of the trend line too so it was expected to be bounced here and now with the new good news it can definitely at least go all the way to the heights of this down to uptrend right here maybe do a back test of this uptrend and then see if it starts making higher highs from there but these are news that can move the market we still have negative divergence in the weekly but it's getting to an oversold territory so i can expect it to bounce if i look at the finance for both of them there are companies that are, are performing very well year over year let's look at it right here so this is trade desk year over year revenue you can see that from 2016 202 and then they increase 50 percent 50 percent 38 percent 26 percent so this is a company that's still growing rapidly and if i look at their evaluation right now it's 20 it's trading about 25 billion dollars but they're only producing uh, one million or below one million dollars in revenue a little bit of income this is a company that is definitely trading pretty rich 100 pe and a forward pe of 72 as you know these are way over the top um i can see this company continue to downtrend but because of the news i can see it as well at least trying to get all the way over here to 680 that's probably my thought on that and compare with nvidia so nvidia over the years has increased quite a bit of their income they actually had a pretty jump this year 50 percent right there and if we go back to their valuation so they're trading at a 21 ps and a forward PS of 40. It's still a pretty rich evaluation. Almost 90 PE. So that's pretty rich. I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna continue making higher highs, but I can see because of the news at least coming up a little bit more. We still have to see how the market behaves as all. Well. So those are two catalysts for these two stocks right now. So there's a few other companies that I would like to go over uh, to see if they're a good buy. And some of them like Tattoo Shift have made a pretty good comeback and they're getting a really good reversal. This is a strong company with strong earnings and it completed or it started a reversal. I think this is a good buy in my opinion. Um, a few things to know about these type of companies is during a correction, a lot of the companies sell for multiple reasons. It's just a, a, a wipe up of all sorts of companies. And then as earnings come in, 
institutions get to understand which companies are a better opportunity to invest and i think this is where retail investors can take a little bit of an edge from wall street is by digging into some of these companies uh, for example let's look at riot right now so i was looking at riot and one of the things that i noticed um, right here is riot it looked like it completed it an abc correction and i can show you how that works so an abc correction goes from here to here here all the way over here and that correction it's already completed there is a strong support right here and it's very oversold as well now if it keeps going below this then it's probably going to be an impulsive wave and it's going to take the stock to even lower prices but this is the risk reward as a trader you can buy it right here get support from the 200 moving average and then eventually the stock can start being more stable and then eventually can start doing higher highs if you look at riot evaluation it's just under two billion dollars um, and then last year's income or sales were 12 million dollars so it's not i mean th that's why it's probably selling off because it, it's, a, it's a company that doesn't make much money but that was an increase of 50 percent from last year so that's a good sign is it worth two million dollars what it's hard to tell but one of the one of the ways we can look at it is by looking at the last report right here and just on the last quarter they made 23 million dollars in revenue that's an 881 percent increased over last year and then on mining revenue margin they're at 67 percent that was an increase from last year as well wow that's crazy right those are crazy numbers and then they had a net income of seven million dollars so they were positive by the end of this quarter if we go look back at these numbers look at this one right here 23 million dollars in revenue they had 12 million dollars in revenue last year right now they have two times this revenue just in the first quarter let's pretend that they do very well within the next four quarters what's going to be the revenue by the end of the year i, I haven't dig in deep on on their forward looking by the end of the year but if for some reason they reach somewhere around 100 million dollars in revenue with a positive income by the end of the year one million dollars sounds like a reasonable um market cap so that's that's how i'm looking at it right now as long as bitcoin continues to be stable about 20 to thirty thousand dollars these companies are still gonna make pretty good money again i don't understand their their business very well i probably have to read a little bit about it but this to me seems like a great entry perfect abc correction great revenue um oversold anyway so this is one of my one of the stocks that i'm looking at right now is this this company not in enox used to go for 95 dollars and is currently trading at 20 dollars so i mean i understand why people were buying it here there's a lot of hype there used to be an uptrend right here it looks like it's currently at support right here this is where buyers step up it's very very oversold it can continue selling of course and if you look at it it looks like it, it, it finished an impulsive wave so the only way you can get an edge from wall street right now it's by doing a little bit of um diligence on the on the on the company so if you like this stock if the market cap right now it's about under one billion dollars 
it's one billion dollars worth this company yes or no well at one point for some people this company was worth five times this price at one point this company was worth somewhere close to five billion dollars so now that you are able to buy it for one billion dollars is it worth buying it well one thing that you can look is go and look at the last earning report so this is the last quarter earnings for this company and there is a few things to consider one of them is that they got approved by the fda clearance to start selling their product um, this is a result of nine years of r d and this is a very meaningful leap forward in rx technology the clearance is an important step stone towards commercial milestone system the nano arc we believe we can replace the analog RX technology that has been used over 120 years. It has been demonstrated that it has produced high definition clinical quality images both in 2D and 3D across range of imaging producer. We believe the results is a simpler, more cost effective machine with a smaller footprint. It looks like they are currently operating in a temporary manufacturer fab in South Korea but they're creating a new plant they're a little bit delayed um, they were planning to sell 1,000 units by first quarter of 2020 but now they're saying by 22 so now they're saying that because of the supply chain they're gonna push that to the end of 22 2022 so right now we are talking about the future of RX technology and the stock seems like it got a pretty big um, hit nonetheless this technology it's gonna be out soon or later this is just an opportunity for you to buy at cheaper prices now let's look at other stocks right now Peloton, it's currently at resistance so let me look at it right here so it's currently a resistant this is going to be a moment of break it or make it well, difference from the other stocks that we look at it this stock is not as cheap as the other ones it's actually a little bit more expensive there is two things here to consider one trading a 100 p ratio and they have a forward pe of 196 what does it mean by the end of this year they expecting to have a lower revenue and that is why it may, may not go above the uh the resistance that is currently at so again this may be an opportunity to keep an eye on this stock and if it gets rejected to short this stock and it's very likely that it's going to come out to um levels of maybe 37 maybe 3073 those are the next support levels. so if we look at blink right now blink it's currently at that point right now it's somewhere like in the middle of support really close to the 50 million average if you look at the RSI right now, you can see that every time it hit this, it made another lay low. So we are waiting right here. If it gets rejected again, this will be a good opportunity to short and trade this stock, maybe all the way to $20. That's probably where it can go. It is 200 PS price to sell ratio. Um, just so you get an, a, an idea right now people think Apple it's overvalued and Apple is trading at a 6 PS ratio with a PE of, tw of just below 30 so if I go back to blink and then I saw that they have a 200 PS ratio it just seems like it is a little bit too hot right now this is a company that used to trade under $1 last year and the only reason why it's been hit high pop is because they're probably gonna start selling a little bit more units of charging stations but we don't know exactly if they're gonna be able to justify their high valuation so again this is a stock that can easily break down so that's another idea right there yeah a lot of these companies look like they are getting out of their downtrend as you can see right here 
this one looks like it found a pretty strong support right here it's probably about to start going up positive momentum as well Osana starts to breaking down there is definitely really good companies making higher highs and probably reversing this one's probably one of my favorite ones right now that to chef uh he had a pretty good impulsive move and still keeping making higher highs that's something you want to see in a stock but this one right here it's right of resistance we still have to see this week beam still having this downtrend right of resistance you can see how it's been getting rejected right here on these last days rejection there was a lot of rejection right here but it still moved higher palantir is trying trying to get above the resistance this looks more like a back test it got rejected once it has negative divergence still uh, however it had a little bit of positive divergence right here and then that's where it bounced and i believe it can still have a little bit more upside all the way to the 50 moving average before we can start seeing a rejection anyway um i think these are the trading ideas that i have for you guys um do a little bit of research on some of the stocks that are oversold some of them are still in a downtrend so these are my trading ideas for this week let me know what you think and have a good evening